What's good, Tube? I'm making another video on Direct Wave. Um, had a couple questions about as far as what to do. So I'm starting another beat. Opened up Direct Wave, his channels, go for Direct Wave. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my browser, find where my, uh, keep my samples. I don't think it's focusing on them. Wait a minute. I meant to check that out for y'all. Uh, give it a second. It'll focus. May not. But by that time it focuses, I'll get to the beat. Alright. Going into my sample 2 folder. Saying okay. Now I'm going to get a drop down. Uh, full of samples and stuff. So I'm looking for a new one I just did called Stroke. Uh, just put that in double click that I don't have to do a preview of it because I already know what it is so the wave will come up like this you'll see the name stroke right there um, the keys allocate of course to your keyboard that you see in direct wave so you can always pitch up pitch down I'm about to give y'all some volume uh, Yeah. Okay, so basically, um, one of the questions I got was how do you um, adjust certain knobs to uh, pick up in um, direct wave? So, first, what I want to do is right here in your drive section. I want to highlight both of those because your drive is going to show you how loud really you can make your sample. Sometimes what happens is when you put it in FL, it buffers the sample automatically so it's going to come out lower than whatever you use to